Hello and welcome back to our channel Dr. Square. This is Dr. Muhammad Awais. Uh, I am a certified trainer of Max QTA. This channel is your go-to destination for unlocking the full potential of Max QTA. And today marks the beginning of a comprehensive series tailored for beginners. In the series first video, I am thrilled to show you how to download and install Max QTA on your computer. I have already made two videos about how to download and then how to install Max QDA in your computer. This new installation is necessary because there are a few updates in the recent version of Max QDA. For example, some AI capabilities are enhanced. The link is provided in the video description below, ensuring you can easily follow along. If you are ready to embark on a journey of data-driven discovery and revolutionize your approach to qualitative research, stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe if you are eager to delve deeper into the world of Max QTA. Let's get started. Download the latest version of Max QTA by copying and pasting the link provided in the description of this video into any web browser. Download Max QTA for Windows or Max QTA for Mac. I am using Windows, so I am going to hit download Max QTA for Windows. So you see the software is being downloaded. If you go to downloads, the software has been downloaded. The size of the setup file is 375 MB. You can simply start the installation visit right from here or just locate the folder where you have saved the downloaded version of Max QDA 24. For example, I have downloaded it on the desktop. Simply double click on the downloaded setup file of Max QDA 24. Hit on next. If you don't want to change the destination folder of the installation files, simply hit install. If the installation wizard prompts you to install some additional files, just install the additional files that are required. So congratulations, MaxQuery24 is installed successfully. Hit finish. There you have it, our first step into the world of MaxQDA. I hope this tutorial has equipped you with the knowledge to download and install the software seamlessly. As we embark on this series together, remember to explore the video description for additional resources and helpful links. In our next video, we will learn how to activate the trial free license of this software. Please don't forget to subscribe before closing this video.